Hey, what's up guys? Your boys Pilot 2K7 back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 real life mod episode. We're actually um starting off today's episode and uh Yeah, I got pulled over, guys. We we got pulled over. But the good thing though, we did not get a ticket. Um we do have the police behind us. They pretty much said we could go ahead and go once the light turns green. But basically what happened though, they thought we didn't have rear plates and um turns out we do have rear plates. We just have the uh paper plate in the window since this is a brand new car we did not even get the actual plates yet so we are good to go and we did not get a ticket thankfully but yeah guys welcome back to the real life mod episode two not really episode two but our second day in a row of real life mods so hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's episode and hopefully you will enjoy today's episode as well all right i don't see that cop watching me so i'm making this turn but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about this Range Rover. This thing is fast, man. This thing is fast. I'm liking this. This is, our, this is one of our new cars. One of our new daily uh, driver cars. So it's pretty nice. What we're going to be doing today, guys, is going over to our tow shop and working over there today. I think every day we're going to try to spend every day at a different one of our businesses that we own. So you guys know we have the towing and transportation company. Ooh, there we go. So we're going to head over there today and try to help out over there, make sure they're running the shop properly and everything's okay. And uh, here's the shop coming up here on our right. Now all of the mods that I am using will be linked down below in the video description, so make sure you scroll down and check it out if you are looking for anything in particular. But we're here at the shop now. Got a couple trailers out, got our trucks, lots of pickup trucks, we got our van. So, uh, should I park outside? Nah, I'm parking inside. I don't want nobody to hit my hit my brand new car. I'm, this thing is so new. It doesn't even have plates on it yet, guys. I don't want nobody to mess that up. Oh, you guys saw the plane landing? He put his landing gear down. It would be very late. All right, let's roll into the shop. All righty. So, looks like we got a nice lineup. All of the vehicles are inside today. It's pretty early. Everybody's on their way out. Okay, I have no idea what that's going on. The uh, Dodge or the Ram over there is still getting worked on as well. So I'm going to go ahead and park up right over here by the shop. But yeah, I'm really I'm liking this Land Rover though. Let me know what you guys think about it. So we're going to go ahead and just park up right here. Alright guys, so if you guys are new, we haven't really did a real life mod video in a while with our shop. So this is our shop. This is mainly our transportation shop, but I'm thinking about turning it into a mechanic shop because we have so much mechanic equipment in here already. Um, the main reason why I use it as a transportation shop is just for like the backyard uh, the backyard space. We have all of our trucks back here. And we can also put like repos and stuff back here as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got going on today. Uh, let's check the board, make sure everybody's doing their work. Let's see who's working today. It looks like we got a full shift today as well. Awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and head inside. All right, we got a couple of our guys here about to head out, hit the road. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. How you guys doing? Good morning. Hey, Jesse. Let's talk to uh, Jess and see what's up here. What you got today? Uh, okay, you need me to help out with anything? We have enough drivers. You want me to get a repo? Yeah, I'm not I'm not scared. I get a repo. What, what kind of car are we looking for? Okay, guys, so... We're going to be looking for a Jeep. What's that? A Demon Hawk? A Jeep Demon Hawk. So that's pretty much like the top of the line Jeep Grand Cherokee, basically. That thing is super duper fast. Like, really, really fast. I'm going to show you guys a picture of what it looks like. But let me know um, how fast you guys think this truck could go. I don't know. We're going to try to repo it. And um, maybe once we get it back to the shop, we'll do a little bit of a test drive. So let me know. How fast do you guys think the Demon Hawk could go down below in the comment section? We're going to try to repo it. And once we repo it, we're going to also try to do a test run. We're going to bring it back to the shop, do a test run, and then um, we'll see how fast it could go or anything like that. So anyway, let's see what vehicle should we do. Oh, and for my guess, I, I'm going to guess that this thing could probably do like 190 miles per hour but let me know what you guys think i think it could do 190 it's a really fast car in real life or a fast truck but 
Anyway, guys, we're here at the shop. Let's see which truck should we use today. We got the F550, got the Kenworth, uh, we have the Duristar, it's National F, another F550. I think we're gonna go with this one here, guys. You know what? Actually, should we pull out? Nah, we're good. With, let's go with this one. This one looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and jump into this one here. Let's hop in. All right, there we go. Get this thing started up and ready to go. We're gonna let it warm up just a bit. And uh, let's make sure it's not frozen or anything like that. Let's test the lights. Oh no, the lights are not working. What happened to the lights? You know what? They're probably I don't, probably don't have the ELS file in here, guys. All right. Um, should we restart? It would be nice to have the lights, though. I think we're let's restart the game. That way, we'll have like the working lights and stuff like that. So, we'll be right back here in a moment. All right, guys. So we have the lights working now. It looks really, really nice. Really do like this uh, Durastar here. So let's go ahead and get ready to head out of the shop. And I think I'm gonna just head inside really quickly. All right, let me just get a good look and get all the paperwork for this repo here. All right, a lot of the guys already got to work. Perfect, perfect. You still drinking that coffee, man? It's been like 10 minutes. No, I'm kidding, man. Take your time. All right, um, let me get the rest of that information, Jess. Oh, sorry. All right, so I'm going to need the license plate. All right, perfect. So this is going to be the license plate that we are looking for. And I also need the VIN number. Okay, perfect. So that's going to be the VIN number. And we already have the address. Perfect. Do we know where he works just in case he's not home? Okay, we got his work address. Perfect. Okay, so we have all the information we need now, guys. Let's go ahead and start up with this repo. And uh, let's see if we can bring this truck in, guys. I really, I really want to bring this in because I kind of want the truck for myself. Like, you guys saw the truck. Like, you guys saw the picture of it. Watch, watch so you guys see it in person. It's really nice. Like, oh, man. But some of our cars, some of our cars we did get from repos. Like, you know, we repoed it for the bank. Then the bank takes it back. And then the bank tries to sell it, like, for a super cheap price. And we end up getting it for a super cheap price. So, maybe that will happen today, guys. We will see. Maybe. Maybe we could get a good price on this uh, Deem or this, uh, yeah, this Demon Hawk, and then maybe we could buy it. So that's what I'm hoping for, guys. That's what I'm hoping. That's the main reason why I'm doing this repo myself, and I'm not sending any of my guys out. I kind of want this repo for myself, <laughs> or I want this car for myself. So hopefully we get the vehicle back. Hopefully the guy d continues to not make payments, and then we'll be driving around with a brand new uh, Demon Hawk, guys. And uh We'll be as happy as this guy bouncing his head around. <laughs> oh, we do have the plow trucks. You guys, guys are going to see a lot of plow trucks driving around. They are getting ready. We have a snowstorm that is supposed to be heading here in a couple of days. So we have to make sure we prepare all of our shops for that. And we have been working with the uh, Department of Transportation um, as well. So we've been making some money and it's, it's been a headache. Um, you guys should definitely check out yesterday's video, though. After you watch this one, check out yesterday's video, and you guys would see what we are doing with the Department of Transportation. But anyway, guys, we're going to make our way towards this person's house. Um, I'm going to have to put my GPS on. I know I kind of know where the house is at, but I kind of don't, so we're going to have to throw our GPS on. All right, so while we're at this light, let's go ahead and uh, turn our GPS on really quickly. So the house that we are going to, I always have a hard time. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to uh, do that. There we go. So we can see. No, I didn't mean to do that either. I'm doing all of the wrong stuff right now. I'm bugging. Reveal full map. That's what I meant to do. So that we can see the full map here. Okay, so she said it was up here in Vinewood. Um, Where exactly was it at? Oh, I think it's right here. Yeah, I think it's right over here. Is it? I want to say it's there. I may be wrong, though. 
But we'll start driving that way for now. It's somewhere up there anyway, so we'll figure it out once we get there. So, uh, let's see. Oh, there goes the Kenworth. For anybody that wanted to see the Kenworth in action. So we have that. Now, unfortunately, the roll back or the roll bed on this thing does not actually roll back, unfortunately. We do have a flatbed where it does roll back, but... It's like, it's like, it's nice. I I'll, guess I'll, I'll show you guys at the end if I remember. Um, it's nice, but I kind of like the real life brands, like the real life. I mean, that's the whole goal of the real life mod is to use real life trucks and real life cars and do real life things. So I don't know. I'll show you guys the other one. It is cool because the, um, the rollback, the wrecker or the bed could actually go up and down, which is pretty cool. And you can actually like drive cars up it and stuff like that. So I don't know. Maybe we'll use it next time. Let me know if you guys would like to. But I kind of like using like the real life brands, like I said. So we're just taking all of these lights right now. Yo, you ever see those tow truck drivers that be driving like super fast? Like here in New York City. Um, I'm sure other places has it as well, but I, always, I don't really see them in like Westchester County as much But like in New York City, especially the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, you always see these like I don't even know what to really call them like they're tow trucks, but they're not like a regular tow truck I think they call them like chasers or like undercover tow trucks or something like that so basically picture like a Silverado or like any pickup truck and it doesn't look like a tow truck, but it has a hideaway tow bar. So, like, they press a button and the tow bar just pops out of nowhere, comes down, and they can tow a car. It's pretty cool. So, it's pretty convenient for doing repos, but I, I don't know. A lot of people in the Bronx use them, like, for, like, even doing accident scenes and stuff like that. So, like I said, I don't know what the exact name is, but they're pretty cool because, one, and then they be hooking them up too. Like they be like some pimped out tow trucks. Like it's crazy. They be throwing rims on them and everything, guys. So anyway, I think we're coming up on a house somewhere over here. So let me double check our information, figure out where, um, where exactly this thing is at. But yeah, I'm gonna put up a picture on the screen if I remember to what exactly I'm talking about. But it's pretty crazy. Like, the, oh, but back to the main part of the story. These guys, like, whenever there's an accident, they be fly into the accident scene guys they be driving so fast like i was in where, where, where was i the other day i was in the bronx south bronx and we i'm sitting at a red light and a one of these tow trucks come out of nowhere fly, it was actually two of them one they were right they was probably racing to get to the accident because whoever gets there first basically makes the money that's how it works so they was probably racing to the scene so we came up to a red light one pulled up hit the brakes hard second one pulled up then he went to the right entered a gas station came out the other side of the gas station on the other side of, on the like perpendicular road and then made the right to continue straight so basically he did like a crazy maneuver to go through the red light and he did at a high rate of speed through a gas station like it was it was crazy and then when the light turned green the second tow or the first tow truck that was still there he slammed on the gas and he raced off and these guys be going like 70 miles 80 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone to get to these accidents so it's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy it kind of just reminded me of me and my bad driving but anyway guys let's go ahead and confirm the address and um should i see if the car is there all right guys so yeah we we're actually a couple blocks away so let's go ahead and continue but yeah guys these tow trucks in new york city they be wilding man so every time i'm driving crazy like in the game i just be picture these tow truck drivers in real life whooping these trucks but i mean i understand to a certain extent you gotta you gotta get there first if you want to make the money i mean new york city is super duper competitive so and they all have the police scanners too, so like they could hear when the calls go out for like an accident or motor vehicle accident or stuff like that. So as soon as they hear it over the police scanner, they just start flying there to be the first one on scene. But uh, speaking of tow trucks, do we have any tow truck drivers in real life in the chat? Let me know, let me know. I forgot there was a track there. All right, so this person should be over here. A little bit more information about this guy. He is, he's about eight months. Yeah, eight months. Let me just look to make sure. 
Oh no, he's only six months. Six months past due. I mean, that's still a long time. That means he hasn't made a payment since the middle of last year. So yeah, it is, it is un understandable why he is getting repoed. And I'm sure the bank is upset with this guy as well. Alright guys, so this is going to be the house right here. Um, I don't see anything here. Alright, um, I don't want to be too obvious. I'm just going to go ahead and park right up here so hopefully they don't notice us there let's make sure we uh save this thing so it doesn't despawn should already be saved but always want to double check out there so uh let's see if we could see the vehicle here now the bank did give us a spare key so if the vehicle is there we could just open it up and take it we do have the authorization from the bank to take it all right, um, here's the house. I don't see it. Anything in the backyard? Nah, I don't see it. All right. So they possibly may not be home, guys. They may not be home. This is there an entrance over here? No, there's no entrance over here. Okay. So if they're not home, we're gonna go ahead and check their job location. But I just want to take a quick peek, really quickly, guys. And see if anything's here. All right, here we go. I don't see anything. Oh, shoot. It's right here. Okay, guys. I see it right here. Hold up. Let me just check the VIN number and the license plate here. Yep. This is definitely it. Yo, this thing is freaking nice, guys. All right. Let me check the license plate. Oh, I can't even see back here. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hopefully, they don't come outside and try to, like, shoot me or something. All right. Uh... Hey, yep, that is the license plate, guys. 47QLW646. Okay, that's the right license plate. We also got to check the last eight of the VIN number here. So let's double check the VIN number. Again, we're only looking for the last eight. Just got to confirm that this is the right car we're taking. And yep, that's the VIN. Okay. Um, let me get the truck back in here so that he can't try to drive away. Wait, let's block it in. Uh, let me also grab the keys. I should have just brought the keys with me. So. Let's grab the keys here, guys, and we're going to try to take this vehicle, and hopefully they don't come outside. All right, guys, so we got the keys. We got all the information we need. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights on, and let's go ahead and back up. He's probably going to hear the truck now, but it's okay. So, again, even if he doesn't come outside, we could still take the truck. Hopefully he doesn't come outside, though. All right. It's a really narrow driveway, but we should be able to get in here. I mean, he already knows what's up, so they gave they gave him plenty of notices to pay his bill. They told him the car is going to get repoed, so I'm not even really... I mean, I am a little bit worried because you never really know what these people could do. People are crazy, but I mean, I'm not really feeling bad for the guy. I mean, he's living in that... In the, at least he's in a nice house. Nice house. That's all I got to say. All right, hold up. This thing is kind of glitched out a bit. Okay, there we go. We're good. Alright, he definitely know we're here with all the noise we made. So, we're going to go ahead and box the truck in so that now it cannot leave. And we got it, guys. We got him. We got it. Okay. So, let's go ahead and line the car up. And then we'll put the uh, roll back back. Like I said, we do have the key, so this thing should pop right open for us with the automatic locks. And let's see. Yep, we got it. We got it. Oh, I just heard somebody scream. Oh my god, you guys hear this? Yo, listen to that idle sound. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't I can't play with this car right now, but yo, should we take this for a test drive later, guys? Let me know. We got to be extremely careful, though, because we got to give it back to the bank in perfect condition. But I want to do a test drive. Let, oh, my God. I may risk it all for a test drive right now. Because I think I'm going to buy this from the bank. If this guy does not make his payments, we're going to probably buy this from the bank. But let me know, guys. Now that you guys heard the engine, you guys heard the idle sound, you heard it rev up a little bit. Let me know how fast do you guys think this thing could go here, guys. Let me know how fast. All right. Let's put this right here. And you know what? We're actually gonna have to move this back a little bit so we can get the roll back back or down. 
Oh my god, this thing is fast. Okay. Let's hurry up, though. Nobody came outside yet, so we're good. He's probably inside watching us, though. I'm sure he knows we're here. He can hear all of this noise there. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up. Alrighty guys, so we have this thing loaded up and man, I'm just in love with this car right now Okay, let's get out of here before this person comes out and try to kill us. Do you guys remember the last repo we did? I think the last repo we nearly died though like we got shot up anybody remember that let me know if anybody remember remembers that uh, video, but basically what happened was um, We were doing a repo of I think a Range Rover in baller territory no, in Vagos territory, and the whole Vagos gang just shot at us, guys. It was freaking crazy. Yeah, but that was crazy, though. We had about 20 Vagos shooting at us. Like, it was just absolutely crazy that day. But um, if you guys would like to watch that video, I'll link it right here as a, um, as a card. So you can go ahead and click right there. Or you can wait, do me a favor, wait to the end of the video and then watch it at the end. I would appreciate you guys if you do that. So, we're going to head back to the shop, guys. Now, I want to do a high-speed test, but I'm trying to think. Where, there's nowhere really to do a high-speed test around here, honestly. Um, I got to find a place. But for now, let's just take it to the shop for now so that we can let them know that we have it. And, um, yeah, I, I guess we'll uh, figure out a place from there. So, for now... Let's just take it back to the shop. Alright, everybody else is running a red light, so I'm running it too, officer. I think they're actually, even even though it's just like yellow lights, everybody's stopping for my lights right now. So we're going to take advantage of that and we're going to head back to the shop. Are you guys excited for the snow? I know some of you guys have already been getting snow, but in New York, we missed the last two snowstorms. I know Ohio got it. And, oh, I thought he wasn't moving. Crap. Oh, is he going to stop? Oh, okay, I think they're good. They're good. But, um, yeah, um, I saw a new... No, Washington, D.C. got it. Um, Virginia, Maryland... Ohio, a lot of the Midwest been getting a lot of snow, but New York, New Jersey, we haven't really been getting anything. We only got that, really, that one snowstorm, like, in November that caught us all by surprise, and we haven't had anything since then, so. I don't know, I'm kind of, I don't, I don't want a lot of snow, but, you know, I kind of want a couple of storms, you know, just, it is winter, so, you know. But, yeah. Come on, man, we're gonna miss, we're gonna miss the light, guys. Uh, everybody just doesn't know how to drive. That's why you're going to be sitting there next time. But yeah, guys, if the um, if the bank ends up selling this uh, Demon Hawk, this Jeep Demon Hawk, do you guys think I should buy it? Because what happened is a lot of time the bank, they're just trying to recover their money. So they'll sell it like super discount and I could get a good a good price on it. So. Let me know in the comment section if you guys think we should buy this thing, man. If they give, if they put up a good price, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. But we have so many cars already, though, guys. Maybe we should sell some of our old cars, too. Alright, so we're here pulling up to the shop. traffic today man what are you watching a helicopter land come on man pull over if you want to watch that yeah it's cool but we got things to do man some people working right now we on the clock don't have time to be sitting in tra not even real traffic just sitting for no reason all right so anyway guys we are back at the shop we're gonna let the bank know we got the uh demon hawk and you know I'm not supposed to, guys. But I think I'm gonna. Oh my god, that, I gotta disable that. That always happens. Oh, part of the part of the shop, it spawns a, a tow truck and stuff there. Even though I have my own tow truck, so we don't need it to spawn a tow truck. All right. Um, can we even get inside of there? Let's try. Okay, we're good. The um, Kenworth has an issue. It has like a collision problem with getting in here. But yeah, this thing is looking nice, guys. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I don't even want to take this outside right now. I think I want to just keep it in the shop. 
This is a really nice and a really expensive truck. So you know what? Let's 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 put this inside. We're gonna give this the VIP treatment just in case we end up keeping it. So let's go ahead and get this thing unloaded. All right, guys. So we have the uh, Demon Hawk unloaded. We go ahead and park this thing back up. All right, guys. So let's get back into the office. Hey, Jess. We got the uh, we got the Demon Hawk. That thing is a beast. Oh, you heard it. You heard it in the shop, right? Yeah. Okay. So do me a favor. Let the uh, let the bank know that we got it and see what they want us to do it. If they want us to hold it here, if they want if they want us to hold it, let them know that it will be a storage fee applied per day. Or if they would like to pay the monthly rate, that's fine as well. Or if they want us to drop it off at wherever they want, just let us know. But um, yeah. So I'll be around if you need me. All the other guys are out working. All right, perfect. All right, um, I'll catch you later. All right, guys. So we're doing good. The guys are working. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Which one do you guys think is faster, the, the Range Rover or the the Demon Hawk? I think the Demon Hawk, guys. Both look amazing. Both of these are really awesome trucks. But yeah, I can't. I can't help but want to try this thing out, guys. So again, let me know how fast you guys think this is going to go. And let's see who is right. I want to see who's right here. So let's go ahead and take this thing out for a spin. Now I do notice we got a little scratch on it. So let's just fix that. There we go. All right. So we're going to have to look for a road, like a relatively straight road we could take this thing on. Now we got to be careful. We can't wreck this thing or else we're going to pretty much be responsible for it. So we got to be careful here, but I, I can't help it, guys. I can't help it. I'm about to do some really reckless stuff right now. Oh, look how the demon light thing lights up. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Oh, it even lights up in the front, too. That is awesome. I love the um, running lights there as well. Really nice truck. I think we're going to buy this truck, guys. I think we're going to buy it. Okay, so let's find a straight road, and let's see how fast this thing can go. Alright guys, so we're going to put this thing to the test here. Now, for all fairness, I'm going to take off traffic. We'll do one with and one without traffic. So let's see how fast this thing could go. Again, I'm guessing about 190 miles per hour. So let's go. I love that idle sound though, because this just sounds like the engine is a beast. They did, they did perfect with the sounds. Okay, here we go. Three. Two. Oh, wait, hold up. We gotta turn our speedometer on. What good is a high speed test if we can't see how fast we're going? Now, this one is pretty small. I gotta download a, a better one so we can actually see. So, top right, you guys see zero miles per hour? Yeah, that's how fast we're going. Okay, so let's get ready. Three, two, one. Oh, wait, hold up. All right, let's just go. We're not racing anybody. All right, we're already up to 60, 80, 90. Yep, this is definitely going over 100. Possibly over 150 here. Can we beat 150? Yep. All right, I'm going to just focus on driving right now. Let's see what we can max out as. This is a relatively straight road here. 180. Are we going to beat what I think? Oh, we, we're touching 200. We're at 192. We just shift to the last gear, possibly. 194, 195. Come on, 200. Oh! Ooh. Okay, we could get... Oh, my God. We just messed up the truck, but it's okay. <laughs> this doesn't count. So we did a 196 there, guys. Let's do one more test and see how much faster we could go. Oh, man. I think that was a slight uphill, too. So let's see if, if we could hit 200 on the downhill here. They did a great job. Like, look at the hands on the wheel and everything looks amazing here. All right, we're already up to nearly 150. Yeah, this thing is fast, guys. 
it's pretty stable too like I don't even feel like I'm driving an SUV the suspension is so nice alright can we get to 200 that is a tusk Oh, we're struggling, guys. So, are we going to even be able to beat the 196 we had? 194, come on. 196, 197, 198. Oh, uphill 199. I got to steer. 200! I saw 200. I saw 200. I saw 200 there. All right. Let's see if we can hit 200 again. Two hundred, two hundred two, two hundred three. Oh my God, two hundred five right there, two hundred seven. All right, I think two hundred seven is gonna be the max. Two ten. Oh my God, we're gonna crash. Two seventeen. Two thirty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, ho, 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 shoot, guys. Now we're going to have to buy this truck, man. <laughs> this thing did 230. We were on a downhill, though, but this thing did 230 miles per hour, man. That is great. All right, last one with traffic. Let's see how well it handles, like, dipping in and out of traffic. Yo, 230 miles per hour. That is insane, especially for an SUV. Ooh, this thing's dipping in and out of traffic, though. This thing is fast. This may be too fast for us. This is just going to get us in trouble. This is going to get us a lot of speeding tickets. It handles well, though. It handles well. Ooh, you guys didn't see that coming, though. Oh, 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 oh. It's just too fast, guys. It's too fast. Maybe we shouldn't get this car. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching to the end. As always, if you made it to the end, just leave a comment saying that you made it to the end so I can personally thank you for watching the whole video. It does help out, too. When um, YouTube sees people watching the whole video, it promotes it more. So by you watching the whole video, you help other people see the videos as well. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. We're going to get this thing back to the shop. Um, yeah, we kind of crashed it, but we kind of didn't. It looks good. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!